Hey there, Pathless Peddlers. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at a piece of gear that I've had for almost a decade. And it's hands down one of the most reliable rear racks out there on the market, and it's a Tubus Evo rear rack. Let's take a closer look. The Evo rear rack is made by Tubus, which is a really well-respected German brand in the bike industry that's known for making high-quality bicycle racks. It weighs in at about 1.6 pounds and has a stated cargo carrying capacity of about 88 pounds. So in terms of its weight to carrying capacity ratio, that's pretty good. So the first thing you'll notice is how it attaches to the seat stays with these infinitely adjustable uh, rod tubes. Some rear racks utilize aluminum bar sock that's kind of flexible. That compared to those kinds of racks, the Tubus feels a lot more solid, especially when you're standing up on a hill with a lot of weight on the rack, you won't feel the rack sway. Another cool feature about this rack is where it attaches to the frame itself. You'll notice that there's a second set of holes there. So if you're using it on a bike frame that only has one pair of eyelets, you can still use the rack and have an extra set of eyelets to put fenders on. Another thing I like about the design of this rack is the top shelf of the rack. It's flat and even, and this allows you to really snug up a tent or let's say fishing rods on the top rack right next to the seat post. Another cool feature about this rack is that it's got two sets of rails that you can use. So you can put the painters either on the topmost rail or on the lower rail, and lower rail actually pushes way further back. So if you've got big feet or a big load, there's a lot of adjustability in terms of uh, putting painters on the rack and not getting heel strike. Another added benefit of this dual rail system is that let's say you have something bungeed onto the top of the rack. You can remove that really easily without monkeying around with the painters on lower rails. Another nice touch is that it's got a mounting plate for a rear light. So if you have a rear light that uses um, that two hole spacing, you can bolt that directly onto the rear rack. But since it's flat, what I've done is I've built up um, a little bit of a base using just some electrical tape that provides enough tension to clip on just a standard blinky. If there's one thing that this rack is missing, I'd say it's a painter hook stop on the bottom rails. So something like the Swift Industries painters that uses a, a hook with a bungee system, um, it, it'd be nice to have just like a simple stop there to keep the the hook from accidentally sliding off on bumpy roads. But it's a really simple fix. Um, as you can see here, all I did was, again, use electrical tape when in doubt. Just built up a little uh, base of tape there. So when we're using painters that rely on this uh, bottom bungee hook, it won't slide off. One other potential downside is that this rack is not cheap. Uh, it runs at about $150. But when you think about it, I mean, I've had this rack for almost a decade. I moved it from probably five different types of uh, touring bikes. And it's simply one of the best racks out there on the market. It's got a lot of adjustability, a lot of cool features. So I think it's a fairly solid investment. And if you're serious about bike touring or bike commuting, this is definitely a rack you guys should check out. So that's it for our look at the Tubus Evo rear rack. If you've got any questions, leave those in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer those. What rack are you guys using? Do you guys have a favorite? Um, any other kinds of racks out there that kind of compete with the Tubus Evo? Uh, let us know. If you liked the video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more bikey, fishing, coffee, camera content. Hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.